Welcome to IT Academy PHP Basics Part 1. Today we will start from some basic stuff with the PHP, how to configure the environment and do some first PHP pages. I've already installed the integrated web server, uh, which is the MAMP server. Uh, you can download it from many places. For example, I googled it. It's, uh, a few things. I could recommend you the site uh, from here uh, when you can find the uh, MAMP server. It's a double AU server with MySQL and PHP in one single binary so if you install it you should have um, on the local host the following page or similar uh, this is quite old version php 5.3 but it could be enough for our academic testing uh, i have already created the file in the, in the root of the web server it's usually installed on C drive and the directory is VMP then www and here you get your projects uh, I need to refresh and this is uh, the directory academy and inside it it's uh, the file called index.php all php files uh, should be with the extension php so this is a very simple file which is actually the html format <clears throat> you could uh, give some basics um, tags from html and if you want to see the result uh, save this is simple text uh, editor it's called the crimson editor there's a lot of editors uh, this one is with the uh, syntax highlighting so I like it uh, so I have saved this basic file uh, it's located as I said VMP root directory then www and your project name uh, file so go back here click as you can see on the URL localhost academy there is our file this is simple static file there's nothing special in it uh, no logic no PHP logic it's uh, uh, quite simple uh, HTML static file let's do more um, PHP is a server-side scripting language so it means that all the processing is done on the server side uh, client side is the another thing so the processing done on your local web browser is the client side and the server side is the things done on the server in this particular example the server is our local host and the client is the browser in a production environment server is located somewhere in the world and you are connected to it as the uh, client so we have created a simple PHP file with some basic uh, text in it and now we create so now we use the PHP tag this is a special tag it is created with the opening tag and the closing tag looks like this uh, all the stuff between those tags is the PHP code the server when it is uh, interpreting the page uses the, the syntax, the text that you put before, between those brackets as the PHP code. Uh, 
the long version of those tags looks like this but the short tag requires you some only like this so now i use the standard faction called echo echo hello world all the commands in php have to be ended with semicolon let's see the result of course we need to save the file first and go back to our page and check the result i simply press uh, function key 5 to refresh the page okay so the text hello world is appeared this is our first script in php and now we will do some more with this of course you can use a mixed mode with php and static html inside one file uh, if you like it of course uh, you can uh, use uh, this is static for example to, to to know where it ends i use the break tag from html4 yes we are here um, and now i will show you some basic um, stuff with the the uh, variables for example or variables variable it's uh, if you have any experience with programming variable is some kind of container that uh, holds the data uh, under the specified name all variables in uh, PHP is starting with those dollar sign then goes the name of the variable uh, those name cannot uh, contain blank characters so let's see that the, the variable will be called name and by the, uh, by the sign of assignment I could give the, to those variable some value. All values that are texts, that are the, the, the strings, uh, which is all the things alphanumeric, uh, should be in double quotes and as other commands it should comp uh, it should end with the semicolon so i have uh, uh, declared the variable and assigned a value so later on those page when i use this variable name it should uh, contain the value look in the echo instruction you can simply use the variable with the dollar sign in the first place and if I say save it we can check the results there is hello world but nothing more has assigned why because I have made a mistake I, by um, mistake there's one uh, character. Okay, hello world look. So the variable which assigned value look has been displayed on the page. Um, PHP does not require you like other languages declaration of the type of the variable. So those variable could uh, be holding uh, numbers, floats, doubles, uh, strings, but also objects, arise and all structures that we will be discussing in the future lessons. So the basics today, we have a created a page uh, structure with some statics uh, HTML. We use the echo instruction to display some text with the variable with it. At the end, I will show you some basics arithmetical operation. Let's see that we have a variable called sum and we assign to it 
a simple operation. Let's see 2 plus 4 with semicolon. And here I will um, try to display again the value. Next to the name I will display the sum. Saving, go back to page, refresh and I have the result which is 6. So today we have uh, we have been uh, told how to create a simple page. Remember to create it in the directory. Let's see again. There is a C drive and W and the project name with the index.php. If the file will have another extension, it will be uh, recognized by the server as the uh, PHP script. So remember about the PHP extension and the brackets to opening and closing tag of the PHP. And let's try to do some stuff at home. And see you in the next lesson. Thank you.